proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Big news in Silicon Valley today. Menlo Park-based Facebook has a new name. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck in tonight for Frank Somerville. The social media giant's move comes amid a wave of criticism following the release of tens of thousands of internal documents, but it may not be the only reason for this sudden name change. Kate Fuse, Andre Sr., live now in the newsroom with the other issue driving this change. Andre? Julie and Mike, critics will argue that this is the company's way of saving its reputation to avoid further bad press, but the company's facing another existential threat here, a dwindling number of new, younger users. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. A major announcement Thursday from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg renaming the corporate wing of the company Meta Platforms Inc. 17 years after it first launched. The iconic like button signage at the entrance of its Menlo Park headquarters also changed to the new logo. Our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. Currently, we interact with the company's Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApps on a screen. Zuckerberg now shifting the company's future to a virtual experience, says tech and business expert Shabani Joshi. What Mark Zuckerberg is trying to get to and get at is that he believes that the future um, and the next platform for social media is going to be this integrated digital platform that uh, converges online, virtual reality, augmented reality, all in this new sort of sci-fi universe. Instead of typing or tapping, you're going to be able to gesture with your hands. Venturing into the virtual world, or metaverse, will take the company years and cost billions of dollars, according to estimates, and the company may be banking its future on it. Recently surfaced internal documents reveal the company is projected to drop a whopping 45% of teenage users in the next two years, potentially capping growth unless it turns the tide. Mark Zuckerberg is rebranding the company to uh, make sure the investor and the world community knows this, and then it's going to put in billions of dollars also to support that. Now, critics say the name change is simply the company trying to hide from bad press created weeks ago after an ex-Facebook employee told Congress that among the company's issues, executives ignore the platform's harmful mental effects on young people in exchange for profit. This is a way to distance itself from all of the heat that it's that it's gotten and really deservedly so. Well, a simple change, name change likely will not lift Facebook, now Meta Platforms Inc., from the regulatory scrutiny it faces from congressional lawmakers. So, Zuckerberg now looking to move the company into a new direction, one that he hopes will reach a billion people within the next decade. By the way, Facebook's current platforms, the one many of us use every day, like Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, will keep their current names. Back to you. All right. Andre Senior reporting in the newsroom tonight. Thanks, Andre. Sure.